Navigating through a new environment can be a bit difficult, but one benefit to being a mature student is the fact that you may have been independent for quite some time now. My father always told me growing up, you have to row your own boat. And as a child, these words seemed a bit harsh. But as an adult, I have put his words into perspective and it's helped me get through life. In this segment, I'm going to talk to you about five things I've done that has helped me claim my independence. And I call it how to row your own boat. I'm not actually going to teach you how to row a boat. That's something I actually made up. Set boundaries. I migrated to Canada as a teenager and it was a bit tempting being thrust into a new environment with so many distractions. You will need to learn quickly that it might be better to say no to the next social gathering in order to complete a project that is due soon and that might be the best decision. Prioritize. Keep a timetable and your calendar close. Write down things that you need to do and focus on getting the things at the top of your list out of the way. Manage your money. Money, money, money. University might be hard, especially as a full-time student with very little money. Ensure that your basic needs are taken care of, like your rent, your tuition, food, before spending that extra bit of cash on clothes or even on partying. Ask for help. Whether it's asking for directions around campus or probably asking for help with understanding an assignment, asking for help is okay. Life was not meant to be a journey traveled on alone. And now and again, you'll find people coming into your life that will be able to help you. Number five, come through. Things may be hard before they get easy, but guess what? Keep rowing that boat and come through you know. thanks for watching i hope you enjoy my how to row your own boat don't forget to follow all my other storytellers and see you next time on a road to rise soon bye bye